Hey, what's happening, buddy? In this tutorial, I wanna show you how you can vertically center type inside of Gatsby using React Bootstrap and harnessing the power of Get Bootstrap. And we're starting right now. All right, once again, my name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. And this channel is all about helping you design more and to troubleshoot less. If that's what you're looking for online, then hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell so you never miss a video. All right, so I'm turning on with the Gatsby starter default or the Gatsby default starter. I always say that backwards. And what I wanna do is I wanna bring in React Bootstrap. So if I head over, if I can have the actual link copied and pasted, you can find React Bootstrap, which is the React or Gatsby version of Bootstrap. I wanna bring this into my project. So I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna copy and paste the installation inside of iTerm. Let's copy it in here. Because the power of React Bootstrap is that everything with Bootstrap comes in through React. So it makes it that much easier. I install it once and I can use all the powerful tools React has, but I can more importantly use all the tools that Get Bootstrap or the vanilla version also has. Cool. So we've installed it. So what I wanna do is now, I wanna come down here and I wanna bring in the CSS into my layout. The great part of using the Gatsby default starter library is that I kinda of know where everything is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say Gatsby develop. And while this is loading up, I'm gonna head into my folder, which is on a different screen. And I have to find the folder as I'm talking. You know, it would've been great if I would've had it open right in front of me. Here we go, that's a little better. So what I wanna do is inside the source folder, inside my components, I'm gonna head over to layout and open inside a visual, I guess I have two versions, that's strange. Okay, that also works too. Today's my bizarro day of having two versions and the folder my location, all of that. So inside of my layout, what I wanna do is at the very top, I'm gonna to take out the Gatsby default style of layout I'm gonna paste in, not the NPM. Man, I need more coffee this morning. But let's actually copy that CSS file and drop it in. What I'm also going to do is I'm gonna create a custom CSS file. So I'm gonna say import and say dot dot new folder called CSS and custom.css. Don't hit save yet because if I do, and I also need a semicolon, that this is gonna crash. So what I need to do is create a new file and inside of, I guess it didn't find it. Man, I thought I was all set to go on this project and apparently I was not perfect. Well, it was called vertical type was the folder. Inside the source, I'm gonna create a CSS folder and call this custom.css. And now I can save the layout because the custom, which also should come, I can take these out if I have to, but what the important part is making sure your bootstrap goes on top of the custom CSS. That means we can always change or customize anything that comes from bootstrap going forward. So now that I have my CSS in place, let's head back into the index.js file and let's bring in a way to center our type. So outside of my components, I'm gonna head over to pages and index.js. And here's our famous first page. Hi people, welcome to your new Gatsby site. Now go build something great. Because the layout using the child, where is it down here? Or the children is pulling information in text into index.js, I can now leverage the power of React Bootstrap. So what I wanna do is I wanna use the flex component of the vanilla version. So if we head over to getbootstrap.com, there's a page in the docs called flex. And flex is the power that to make everything happen. And what I wanna do is I wanna write and create a Flexbox container. So if I head over to my, where's my code? There it is, I'm almost gonna hit the wrong key. We'll put it right here. What I wanna do is I'm gonna write the phrase div 
And the difference between vanilla bootstrap, which is getbootstrap.com, and React Bootstrap is we're going from class to class name. So I'm gonna set up this dflex, which enables the display to start working. So if I say div class name equals dflex, and if we use our little tutorial, if I say p2 for padding to rem, so if I say dflex and p-2, and we can also comment and create, I'm a Flexbox container. I'm a Flexbox container. And what you're gonna see, if I actually pull up the right page, that I'm a Flexbox container. Let's create a border around this just so it's easy to see in demonstration purposes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new class that is gonna say border gray. And this border is just going to be in our custom CSS, so whereby we can see what we're doing. So if I create a class called border gray, I'm going to say border 1px solid and gray. And now when I save this, perfect. Now we can see our design happening. So let's go a little further than that. If we take a look at the vanilla version, you can see there's a whole bunch of ways of how we can move things around. But the one I'm looking for, well, for my example, originally I also had it in the center, which we can use, but we can also, if we scroll down a little, little further, check it out. Notice these boxes sit in the middle of our design. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring that piece in. Inside of our index, I can take out this P2 for right now because it's not that important. After deflex, I'm gonna say align items center and justify, if I can type properly, justify content center. Now, if we go back and take a look, it's centered horizontally and that's due to a line item center. So if I take that one out, now we're back. Oh, I have it backwards. The align item center goes vertical. The justify goes horizontal. There we go. So the problem is that by default, divs and containers will expand out to with their parent. The problem is that there is no default vertical height in which to set our vertical height into the middle two. So we have to create a custom height. So for demonstration purposes, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say custom height, literally. Custom height. And we can use a fixed width, but whenever I think about the web, I always think about how can I move it in the best way possible. And instead of using fixed heights, I wanna use a vertical height. So I'm gonna say min height, nope, not min width, min height, I'm gonna say 60 VH for vertical height. That's gonna create a minimum height, so in case this content ever gets bigger and bigger and bigger, we we'll don't have to worry about this running over and creating problems. So now I have custom height, I'm gonna bring it in, into my index file, and add it to where I have deflex, align item center, and custom height, and border gray just for demonstration purposes. Now what I get as a result is a box that is vertical and a centered piece of content. Now, to take a little further, what I would really do is that inside of my parent is I would add div class name, actually I'll say div, this div will be centered. Now I can work more with the parent-child relationship when it comes to flex and flexbox. So this div will be centered. Now what I can do is I can add a paragraph by saying p, this is a centered paragraph. And there it is. And again, if I wanted to justify or move it to the middle middle of this design, instead of saying text align center, I have to bring back that justify content 
center because we're now working in the flex environment. And check it out. Now we have is a centered paragraph, both vertically and also added horizontally. If you want more videos helping you design more and troubleshoot less, check out the videos I have here and don't forget to subscribe. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.